All right, now that we know how to import clips, previous video, how to import clips from ClipChamp, now how do we edit those clips? Well, editing is the fun, I mean, that's why we use a video editor. Okay, um, step one, I would just encourage everybody to click up here and change the untitled to learning editing or something else, okay? Whatever your project is. Number two, I would, uh, then you just, you just drag things down here, drag and drop media from the library. So this is your library. And then we take things from this library and we put them on the timeline. So I'm gonna um, start with a clip, which is the floating ghost animation, and it drops it in and you can hit the space bar to play your video and there's no sound. So um, there you go, there's the, there's the video and I'm gonna of course want some sound. So I'm gonna take this, bensound.com provides royalty free music. This is not a commercial, I'm not paid by them, uh, but I love, I love their stuff. And in Compatech, uh, Kevin McLeod, another guy I recommend. Now let's watch the video. You grab the playhead, that's this blue thing. This is a very important feature, by the way. That lets you, I love that you can scroll back and forth and sort of see your video and see what's happening. So I'm gonna scroll back and I'm gonna hit, oh, I moved it. Hit the space bar and it'll play. And you hit space bar again to stop it. Or you can hit the playhead, which is the triangle. And then to rewind the whole video, you can hit this button with the arrow pointing back. Or if you wanna move forward one, kind of a section at a time, I'm not sure it jumps, it jumps uh, several seconds at a time there. Um, so uh, that's number one, how to get clips and sounds in. Number two, let's just take a look at something. You have this option here called zoom in and zoom out or fit to screen. Zoom in lets you zoom in, gets closer to the video clip. And it's really helpful for editing like little things. I'm gonna show you how to edit out like mistakes in a minute. Um, I'm gonna zoom back, I'm gonna fit to screen. Now, if you look, our video, actual video is about, I don't know, 10, 12 seconds long, right? But if you go all the way over here, you'll see that it goes all the way to 145 because the song is very long. So there's two ways to shorten that down. Number one, you can click on the clip and if you move your mouse to the end, you're gonna see a little green handlebar. Grab that handlebar and just drag it over. Okay, that's one way. Second way is take the playhead, place it right where you wanna make a cut and hit split. Now it's in two parts. I click on the second part. You'll see there's a green outline indicating that that clip is selected. And if you click on any clip, it'll give you different options, by the way, up here at the top. Notice when I have a video clip, I have those options. And when I click on a sound clip, I have those options. And I'm gonna just delete on this. And I'm gonna hit the delete key or the backspace key or delete. I like using shortcut keys whenever I can. So I'm using the keyboard and my mouse at the same time, it's pretty handy. Okay, so there's how you get clips in. Now, let's say I wanna put several different animations in. You can drag those animations in. You can pick them up and put them in different orders like this. Um, let's say I wanna bring in some talking too. So maybe I wanna make my music a little longer. And then when I get over here very quickly, how to say, I've got more music and let's say the music's too loud. I'm going to go. see that you can hear, you can't even hear my voice because the music is so loud. So I'm gonna split the music cause I like it loud during the animation and I'm gonna click on the music and hit split. But then when I start talking, it's too loud. So I'm gonna click on the music clip here. So it's highlighted in green and go up to the top where it says audio and look at that track volume. And I'm just gonna lower that just a lot. And let's see the difference here. Just very quickly, how to save a website. If I go to a website, that's pretty good. Um, maybe, I'll lo maybe I'll lower that music just a little bit more. Because really, in a video where you're talking, the talking is the most important part. Just very quickly, how to save a website. If I go to a website. All right, cool. Now, I'm going to show you one other trick here. And I'm going to delete the music. I'm going to delete the video. And I'm going to leave this video here. And I'm going to show you how to fix uh, let's say I'm just all, very quickly, how to save, save a website. website. If, if I go, I go to, a to a website that, that um, let's say I haven't visited, visited before, or I want to visit frequently. frequently let's get rid of some problems here. Go to, go to that, that website. website. And, then and then at the, the very, very top, top, actually, let me drag this video out. Let me hold on. There's a, there's a discernible, um, I'm, I'm going to show you a little trick. trick. Yeah. So I even start, I'm going to, let's see, can I move this? Okay, well, you can use arrow keys. Um, I feel like there's a way to move a smaller amount, and I don't know it right offhand, the way to move like one frame at a time. I'm going to zoom way in. Zoom, 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 zoom. OK, 
Okay, I'm zoomed in as far as I can go. And I'm going to find this. I'm going to let me get rid of the very beginning. I'm going to click on the clip. I'm going to drag it over just a little bit. I'm going to show you a little trick in stop motion. motion. There we go. It's um, a, um, I'm going to get rid of that. Um, it's um, so I can see it's um, it starts right there, right past the four second mark. So I'm going to click right there, and I'm going to click on the clip so it's highlighted in green. Hit the split key, okay, and then I'm going to hit play. Um, and then I'm going to find where it ends. Um, and I'm hitting the space bar to stop and start. Um, right there. I'm going to hit the split key. Now, if you'll notice, there's a little, see how it's a little tiny selection between these two bigger selections? Click on it, hit the delete key, and the clip will close in so that the timeline is restored. Um, a Chrome, it's, that um starts right there. I'm gonna click on this clip. I'm gonna use that little handle and drag it over a little. It's a Chrome extension for animation. Uh, today, and you can get rid of breaths and everything. So maybe tension for animation. For animation, split. Oop, click on the clip first, then split. Uh, and then I go back just a little bit, and I'm going to split it again. Whoops, got to select it and split it, and then I'm going to delete that. Let's see what happens. Tension for animation. Uh, today, we're, that was a little sloppy. So you can always undo. By the way, hit Control Z. And you can undo for animation. Uh, today, I could also click on that clip and go up here to audio, and I could lower the volume of that breath for animation. Uh, today, we're going to, which, you know, might just not even be worth messing with, but, you know, it's possible. Uh, so, cutting clips, splitting clips, moving them by dragging them up and over are some really, those are kind of essential. And if, by the way, I don't know if you noticed this. See, there's a clip here and a clip here. If I clip on this and drag it, you'll see that it actually, that popped over the other part. If I pick it up, those parts will kind of split together, but I can pop them out. See that? It sort of pops it over and I can let go and then put it in that order. A Chrome. And I can change the order of things. Maybe I did something out of order and I could fix it. I can also drag down any other video and stick it right in there if I want. So it could start here, extension for animation. And then maybe I show the animation. Uh, so there you go. There's uh, the basics of editing. And you can also copy clips. So let's say you want to just copy it and then paste it. It pastes it right after where you copied it. And then maybe you want to do a speed up version. So you click on speed. And then when we do a fast version of that same clip. So here's the clip. Extension for animation. And then there's a high speed version. It doesn't look like it speeds up the sound. So it's, um, who knows? I'm going to click on, uh, and you can fade out a clip. So it fades to black. So for example, this clip here, I can click on fade and I can fade it out. Take a two second fade out and we'll see what happens. A Chrome, Chrome extension it should start going to black and it faded out. You'll notice the audio faded out also. And if you have a song, let's put this song back in and let's say I want that song to end right where that fades out, which is right. You can see the fade out is happening right here. I'm going to split my music clip. I'm going to click on this side and I want to go to fade. And I can actually fade out my music too. So the music will fade with the video. Chrome extension and animation. And then it then it comes back and it um and it's back for this part. But anytime you make a change in ClipChamp, it's gonna take a minute as it renders in the background or it, it sort of processes what you're doing. So be patient. It's browser based. If you have a lot of tabs open, I have so many tabs open right now. I suggest closing most of your tabs when you're editing video and closing other programs so that it runs better. I'm using a very powerful computer, but if you're on a Chromebook and you have 10 tabs open, this won't run very well. So close some of those other tabs and then work on editing your video. Sometimes restarting your computer will also make your editing work better. You can also click up here, the reload button. ClipChamp auto saves as you're working. So um, it is gonna save whatever you've done. And you'll see here, there's my learning editing project. By the way, here's a fail. Untitled projects don't know what those are, but I'm gonna click on learning editing. And there's all my clips and everything that I had um, is where it was. Uh, 
And let's see here. I'm going to rewind it just a little bit. There it is. I'm going to show it should Chrome fade out. Extension for animation. Yep. Okay. And then uh, space bar to stop. And, and I'm going to rewind it. And I'm going to zoom back in. You'll notice that it looked like it was really tiny. That's because I was zoomed out. So I hope those give you some ideas of things you can do with this program. I didn't even dive into any of the fancier features, but this should get you started in being able to make a better video. I hope this was helpful. If you have specific questions, please put them in the comments below. And, or if this has just been really helpful, you know, I love to hear that too. Um, thanks so much. And, you know, like, and subscribe if you want to do that sort of thing. Have a great day. It's Mr. Giles out.